please drop the duck. I tried the branding rod last week. It didn't work out. That's a baby mountain lion. <laughs> our cats can clean our dishes just by licking them. Hi, welcome to Comedy Parenting Radio, the show that thinks that seedless watermelon spitting contests should be an official sport in the Olympics. Seedless watermelon spitting? Um, that's what it says here. Who wrote this? Thunk. <laughs> Who's writing our scripts here? We need to fire them and get a new person. Yeah. We want to welcome our listeners this last week. The top three listeners for Comedy Parenting Radio were from Buford, Georgia, Fort Collins, Colorado, and Kalamazoo, Michigan. Kalamazoo, Michigan? Yeah, that's that little thing you stick in your mouth and you hum and it makes like you can sit, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Today we're going to be talking about our cats because our cats are perfect. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Howdy, all of you kings, lords, and pheasants. Are you being raided by picks on Thursdays and huns on Saturday nights? If so, boy, have we got the solution for you. Introducing Castle in a Box. A complete castle fortress complex in a box that you and your lady can set up in an afternoon. It comes with simple directions. It's as easy as one, two, three. One, you mow a big green square out on your lawn. Two, you cut the box open with a sharp knife. Three, you match up the colored tabs to the colored slits. And four, you affix them together using the included Scottish tape. Here's a testimonial from one of our satisfied customers. I ordered the castle in the box and set it up in one easy afternoon. I was able to keep the Viking ballet troop at bay for two months until they got rips and or tights and had to leave. So order your box of Castle in a Box today. Castle in a Box. Never accept substitutes. Castle in a Box is not intended for usage in any areas with precipitation. Castle in a Box is not effective against Rat King and his horde. Castle in a Box may actually attract rodents. Do not attempt to barbecue in your backyard while using Castle in a Box. Colorblind people should not order Castle in a Box unless recommended by their doctor. Side effects may include dizziness, nausea, and not being invited to real castles. Attempting to fight fire-breathing dragons while in Castle in a Box may void warranty. Comedy, parenting, r- r- radio. Life used to be so hard Now everything is easy because of you We're back with Comedy Parenting Radio. Okay, our cats are perfect. Your cats aren't perfect, but our cats are perfect. Our cats are absolutely perfect little angels. For instance, when you pet them, they don't really bite you or scratch you. They just kind of take it in and enjoy it. One of them really loves petting. And you can even pet them with a cactus and they won't bite you. Nope. Our cats love being pet with anything. Even tr- the lint roller. I, I don't know about that. I tried the branding rod last week. It didn't work out. See, you're supposed to heat up the branding rod so it's not cold and shocks them. They don't like cold branding irons. That's why I've been gone for two weeks is because I've been in the hospital with cat scratches. Mm. Otherwise, our cats are perfect. As a matter of fact, the fact that they even scratched Elijah, that is perfect. Yep. You know, one of our cats really loves being pet. Like, if you start petting her, she will start really getting into it. She will start jamming her head into your hand. And she really likes being pet on the um, on the left under chin. When you pet her on the left under chin, she starts her little motor starts going... <laughs> She's the loudest purr of our cats. She's a 15cc. Our cats are perfect because they have hybrid motors. So sometimes they're gas, sometimes they're electric. Your cats, on the other hand, diesel. Diesel Mm -hmm. cats. Diesel cats. You know, even when our cats were kittens, they were perfect. How so? Well, they had their perfect little eyes and their perfect little tails and their perfect little mews. And they had the best manners, too. Our cats are so perfect, and they have such adorable little eyes when they were kittens that I wrote them into my will. 
Yep. Yeah, so the cats are going to get half of everything I own when I die. I'm not even mad with that. I agree with that wholeheartedly. I think Jeep should get your Jeep. Our cats had such perfect manners even when they were kittens that when one of them wanted to get out of the box it was born in, it looked at me while all its siblings were trying to climb out of the box from the side. This one cat looked at me and raised its paw as if asking to get out of the box. So I let it out of the box. That was a very intelligent and polite and nice cat. It reminds me of the time which one of the kittens had uh, captured a mice and was sitting by the door. And one of the kittens just reached around the door, grabbed the mice and pulled it around to this side of the door. It did the big old snatch. Our cats are perfect because they don't shed. Not only do they not shed, they collect hair. Mm -hmm. We use our cats as lint rollers. Exactly. So they'll pick up all of the dog hair that's on you. Just take the cat by the tail and just roll it back and forth like a lint roller. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Sometimes they'll even roll back and forth for you as long as you're giving them tummy rubs. Mm -hmm. Our cats are so perfect that you can take them when they have their candy cane tail type that you can actually use them as a cane. Grandma did that once. It was sort of like a combination cane, walker, stroller... Yeah. And the cat didn't mind because it's perfect. <laughs> it's like one of those service animals. Yeah, that people didn't understand in the restaurant why this lady was walking along with this uh, cat's tail. <laughs> but the cat was perfect and they let him in. Mm-hmm. You're listening to Comedy Parenting Radio. Our cats are perfect and yours aren't. Sorry, we'll be right back. Ranger Station, Ranger speaking. Yeah, hi. I'd like to report a bear sighting. Location? Uh, in the woods, just outside of town. Oh, not surprising. You've got your home. Bears have theirs. Yeah, but see, this wasn't just any bear. This bear was wearing jeans and a hat, as in a smoky bear. Jeans and a hat. That's definitely smoky. What exactly did he have to say? Well, we, we were about to head home, you know, after having a bonfire. Oh, I can guess where this is going. Right, right. See, Smokey told me the fire wasn't actually out. He said if it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. That's true. Did you know that 9 out of 10 wildfires are caused by humans? That means 9 out of 10 wildfires can be prevented. Wow, no kidding? I'm a forest ranger. We never kid. Sorry. (laughs) That was a joke. Oh. If you see someone in danger of starting a wildfire, step in and make a difference because 9 out of 10 wildfires are caused by humans. Brought to you by Smokey Bear, the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Learn more at SmokeyBear.com. Only you can prevent wildfires. Ha! Comedy parenting already. Tell it to the magistrate. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. You're back with Comedy Parenting Radio. Our cats are perfect. Yours not so much. Our cats are perfect enough that they will deliver to you a ham sandwich. And they'll ask if you want mayo on it. Yeah, I don't think that's ham. What do you think it is? Um, most likely cook some kind of bird. Well, I guess our cats are perfect chefs as well, because that sandwich tastes great. It tastes like chicken. (laughs) (laughs) Come to think of it, it might be a chicken sandwich. Our cat Bree should work in a cheese factory to scare away all the mice. How do you know she didn't work in a cheese factory as the lead foreman at the night shift of making cheese? I I mean, she's about dark as night, and she has some cheese in there, so she would actually work. Have you ever done the graveyard shift at a cheese factory? I can't say I have. You sit there, and you just watch this wheel of cheese just get older. <laughs> Our cat, Bree, would be perfect for that. I can tell how your cat's not perfect. How is their cat not perfect? Because theirs can't be as cute and terrifying in the night as ours. I'm not joking. Those little kittens look like foxes. In the night, when you shine a light on them, they have these big glowing eyes. Especially when they wear Halloween masks. <laughs> terrifying, yep. terrifying. Terrifying. Clown you see masks. This, you see this pumpkin walking around? Well, one is a pumpkin, one is a clown. It's, it's kind of terrifying to see a, a, a clown mask coming along on four legs. <laughs> That's one of the worst parts about my midnight raids of the fridge. Is then I go outside and whatnot, and while I'm out there, 
and I'm just walking and whatnot. And we live on the mountain, so there are lots of small animals, foxes, coyotes, um, baby mountain lions. Moose. (laughs) Yes, moose. And then you hear just this rustling in this brush behind you, and it scares you so bad, and then it's just the cat comes out looking like a queen. We also have another cat around our property. It's the wow cat. That's not a cat. That's a baby mountain lion. (laughs) Yeah, it is. It's a baby mountain lion. You know, I know why your cat isn't perfect. Why's that? It's because your cat knocks stuff off the edge on purpose. Our cats walk around the house picking things up and putting them on the shelves. Mm Mm-hmm. Your cats will just go around knocking off plates, china, bowls of milk, cups of milk, milk jugs, um, orange juice, grape juice, apple juice, prune juice. I mean, it's a complete cat astrophy. Not only do our cats pick things up and put them back on the shelves, they'll even pick up the socks, they'll sort them, fold them, put them back in the drawers correctly. Mm -hmm. Our cats are perfect. Yours aren't. We'll be right back. Because you can. Your mind is a powerful tool, and so is your freedom of speech. So use it. It's what separates you from being a number to being an individual. Thoughts, beliefs, opinions, opinions, creativity. It's what makes you, you. Stand proud and say it loud. Know your rights. Know your freedom to speak. This message is brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters, Education Foundation, and the Broadcast Education Association. This is Crazy Russian Dad. You're listening to Comedy Parenting Radio. I was never a teenager. There were no teenagers in Soviet Russia. I declare war on teenagers. You would not believe your eyes If ten million fireflies Lit up the world as I fell asleep We're back with why our cats are perfect and yours aren't. And I'd like to start this off by saying our cats can clean our dishes just by licking them. I'd like to also point out that our cats are really good drape cleaners. You just throw them on there, and they just slide down, collecting all the dust and dirt. Also, our cats are perfect enough that you can use them as a broom. Don't forget cucumbers. Mm Mm-hmm. You put a cucumber behind your cats, what happens? They jump. Oh, no, they're hanging onto the ceiling after they see the cucumber. Or they go running away 90 miles an hour, and you don't see them for the rest of the day. Our cats, when they see a cucumber, they pick it up, take it in the kitchen, pull out the chef's knife, throw it in the salad. Perfect eighth-inch thick slices. They're better at chopping the cucumbers than I am. And they'll do this with pretty much any fruit or vegetable you do. Did you know our cats cook better than our dad does? I don't have time to read those recipes, okay? The cats make incredible creme brulee. Did you know that our cats can fully sequence genomes on the fly? But we don't have very many flies left around here. No, we don't. They they genetically mutated into worms. Our cats will stay up late at night watching for intruders Mm -hmm. with a double barrel shotgun. Yep. Mm -hmm. We give them full access to... All of the double barrel shotgun and ammo they need just so they can defend our house against intruders. Who needs a chihuahua? Our cats can do laundry better than you. The thing I like about our cats doing laundry is they actually sort the whites from the darks. You guys just throw everything together. Yeah, we're really bad at that. We have a lot of mixed color white t-shirts. Or they used to be white until we threw them in with all the reds. You have a lot of pink and gray t-shirts. Yep. Gray. Most of what you own that's white is actually gray. Take a look at it in the bright sunlight someday. It's gray. (laughs) Maybe if you weren't colorblind, you'd be able to tell, Elijah. Just just walk over to a mirror and look at yourself. You know, the cats cats filter our phone calls. Oh, I love it. Especially when the scammers call. Mm -hmm. We never get scammer calls anymore through. They'll also waste the scammers' time if they can. Yeah, and I'd like to point out that they do pretty good cat scams. (laughs) Hello? My name is Bob from Bob's Tech Support. Meow, meow, meow. Do you think that I know that you are not a cat? Meow, meow, meow. Are you kidding me? 
And then it goes on like this for hours. Yeah. Did you know that our cats are expert chemists? How so? Well, I've seen them. They uh, know how to make a catalyst for every type of acid. Mm hmm. But they're not quite so good at driving the race cars. I've been teaching them, but they're not good. No. They come not. around the corner and they're kind of cattywampus. Yeah. You know how our cats are better than yours? Because they're going to help with the next show. That's a prompt. They already did help with this show and they failed at writing our scripts. Wait. There are cat paws on the script from the beginning. Hmm. Do you think our cats know how to type? I'm not sure. Hmm. And use the copier? I tried to teach them to clean windshields. You know, our cats are also physicians. How so? Well, I went to them. They uh, sat me down, gave me a bunch of stuff, prescriptions, you know, routines and stuff. And after doing all that, they uh, got me feline pretty perfect. You've been listening to Comedy Parenting Radio talking about how our cats are perfect. We love them. Your cats, well, not as much. Anyway. Yeah, they're kind of there, but not quite. Thanks for coming out in the studio today, gang. Mm, I was carried here by the cats. Is that our cat outside the window piloting a dirigible? I dare say it is. Where do you get the little hat? Bye-bye. This is absolutely terrible. It's not what I'd intended.